10 days after my total hip replacement surgery, I'm walking properly, I'm sitting down in front of the cameras and I'm showing you my little story at Hi everybody, nice to see you again. Uh, exactly three years after my cancer therapy started, uh, I'm back again with a health issue, which uh, actually has something to do with the cancer, but not directly. Uh, what happened is uh, because of my lifestyle, doing too much gymnastic, dancing and all these things, uh, my joints and of course, let's not forget about the age, mm. uh, of course my joints, they were overused and uh, sooner or later uh, something had to happen and it did. Uh, unfortunately, the cancer therapies, the chemotherapies are really not good for the joints and that was a big push towards this uh, surgery. But the last, last push came two weeks ago when unfortunately I had to move from one apartment to another and uh, I had to lift a lot of heavy things, carry things here and there and suddenly the day of the moving I just got dropped. I could not walk anymore. The pain was incredible. So I called my friend, my orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Friend, Leonidas Rangos, and ask his uh, opinion what should we do uh, of course he knew about my problem since uh, a couple of years ago he already operated on me on my shoulder when i had a little a couple of uh, broken tendon this and uh, he had to fix it up and he's an excellent orthopedic surgeon if anybody needs any kind of orthopedic surgeon uh, assistance knee shoulder uh, hip hip replacement surgery, I strongly suggest Leonidas Rangos and his team. Uh, you can find all the details on Facebook, he has a profile, and his partner uh, is Vasileos Sakelariu, another fantastic uh, orthopedic surgeon who is actually at the head of the, the orthopedic surgeon's team in another hospital. And uh, my uh, anesthesiologos uh, Ilias Kanalopoulos, thank you so much for explaining to me before the surgery exactly what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I felt wonderful. So let's move on. Let's go to see what happened uh, just a few days before uh, this operation actually has been decided. Yes, we did the moving and this is uh, right now how it looks like. Um, just a little bit of information around and around and around and back to me. So, uh, yeah, I'm extremely, extremely happy about the moving and uh, that finally it's over and uh, it's done because uh, it had to be done. But um, on Thursday I have to go for an operation and I want to give you a little bit of demonstration about the way I walk. Mm. Dancer, the dancer. Okay, passarella, let's go. This is it. And yeah, back. Look how nice flowers I have. Uh, it's a total hip replacement. Uh, it's going to be on Thursday with uh, a very, very good doctor and a friend of mine is an orthopedic surgeon. His name is Lawanidas Rangas. Unfortunately, right now I can't really stand or walk and then it's extremely painful. I'm supposed to go for a, a checkup before, but I can't go. I can't get down on the stairs because I'm on a high first floor. Uh, just three years ago, I had to go through cancer. Um, that's been done. Uh, I survived the chemotherapy and the radiation and all this. Uh, I almost said what? Um, and now this operation, but I'm, I mean, anything can be better than the pain what I'm going through right now. Um, and the, the, the fact that I used to dance and jumping up and down and all those things. And right now without that walking stick, I just can't make a couple of steps uh, either. But I'm extremely happy about the fact that I'm at my new apartment, which I truly, truly love. Uh, we fixed it up so nicely. It's going to be a nice environment to recover after the operation. Uh, 
I have to stop, I think, I <laughs> should uh, too much talking. So that was it. I was in enormous pain and of course uh, there was no way out of it. There is no other way. Uh, as I told you before, it is not a, a really difficult op operation for the doctors. Uh, they do it quite routinely uh, by now and it's a very uh, well-known method of uh, getting away from uh, this enormous pain what uh, arthrosis causes uh, in the hip and makes your life uh, much easier after. Uh, how? I don't know. I'm about to find out. I'm halfway on recovery and uh, we'll see in the next video most probably exactly how it turns out. So far so good. Cross your fingers. My doctors did a really good job. Now, um, <clears throat> we decided we're going to go to the hospital, right? We are going to have the operation. And the day when I got there, uh, I was up to a little bit of surprise. I think the nurses by the name Carly, they believed I'm going to be a woman and they gave me this cute little tunic to wear with a huge peak on the backside. But I didn't have to wear too long because the operation happened soon. Well, <laughs> things like that happens, but uh, just to show you that I was trying to hold myself, keep myself together and uh, going for the operation strong. I tried to make a little bit fun out of it, besides that the Yasso General Hospital in Athens, uh, all the nurses and all the personnel, they were extremely helpful, extremely uh, kind, <clears throat> and they did everything they could. Uh, for my comfort and I'm just 100% sure they did it for everybody else at the same time. There is a video coming up right now with my doctor Leonidas Rangos exactly what are we about to do. I'm very very uh, happy Bukano to chirurgio te ioni to ponos den adequalo αλλά καλύτερα να πει ο γιατρός ο ίδιος τι κάνουμε ακριβώς εδώ. Δεν είναι μόνο κούκλος και είναι ένα πάρα πολύ καλός άνθρωπος ο γιατρός. Είναι και ο ίδιος ο γιατρός που έχει κάνει χειρουργείο και στο όμι στις σπασμένες τένοντες. Και ο κύριος Λεωνίδας Ράγκος παρακαλώ. Λεωνίδα, είμαστε live στο facebook. Ο γιατρό μου που και είναι παλιό φίλο, δεύτερη φορά, ναι, δεύτερη φορά που ήταν το σπο... ε, Ναι, πες εσύ το... το καφ, ρίξη το φυκού πετάλου και ρίξη το κεφάλι. Πριν πόσα χρόνια. Ε, έξι. Ναι. Λοιπόν, <laughs> Λεωνίδα μου, τι θα μου κάνει σήμερα. Ποιο πόδι θα φτιάξουμε. Το δεξί. Πάντα μετά. Δεξί. Λοιπόν, θα κάνουμε ολική αστροπλαστική στο δεξιό ισχύο. Ο Κάρολι πάσει από όστο αθλήτηδα, είναι συνηθισμένο σε αθλητές που κάνουν πρωταθλητισμό, σε χορευτές. Ουσιαστικά έχει κατασταθεί ο χόνδρος. Ε, το στο η κεφαλή του μυρίου έχει έρθει σε επαφή με την κοτήλη. Είναι bone on bone και αυτό κάνει erosion, δηλαδή τρώγεται το ένα στο με το άλλο. Αυτό που θα κάνουμε είναι πολύ επόδυνο. Ε, ουσιαστικά φτιάχνουμε την ποιότητα της ζωής. Όταν ε, αλλάζουμε, είναι το πιο έντιμο που είναι προσφέρει ο αυτοκοδική σήμερα. Στα γόνα δεξιά. Το γίνω Iron Man, η, η bio, Biotic Man, πώ λέγεται. Iron Man. <laughs> bionic. <laughs> bionic, ναι, bionic. Ε, ναι, θα βάλουμε τιτάνιο εκεί. Ουσιαστικά αντικαθίσταται η κεφαλή του μοιραίου με τιτάνιο ε, και η κοτήλη με ένα κάπο, όπω το λέμε, και ανάμεσα παρεμβάλλεται ε, το πλαστικό. Έχω τη στο YouTube τέτοια βιντεάκια και φρικαρά, δεν θέλω να ξέρω τίποτα άλλο, αλλά... Είναι λέω... minimal invasive, θα το κάνουμε ανέμακτα, mm -hmm. ε, θα γίνει μια μικρή τομή, όχι πάνω από 12 εκατοστά, ε, θα πάμε πολύ καλά. Θα πάμε καλά, σε μια ώρα θα κρατήσει η επέμβαση. Είναι το δικό μου πλαστική χειρουργείο. Γιατί <laughs> <laughs> σήμερα αργότερα θα έχουμε και post-op video, μόλις ξυπνάω. Ε, αυτό, ε, αυτό ήθελα να ρωτήσω που δεν θα ε, κοιμάμαι, ναι. θα είναι με το πώς... Θα είναι με ραχαία ναι. ε, και με μία μέθη που θα είσαι σε μία κατάσταση νιρβάνα μεταξύ ύπνου και ξύπνου. Καλό. <laughs> <laughs> Λεωνίδου, ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ε, και, ε, πραγματικά η ζωή μου είναι στο χέρι σου τώρα. Ε, ναι, καλή τιμή επιτυχία. Μου. Τιμή μου μεγάλη. Να σε καλά. Καλή θα επιτυχία για, για το δύο μα. Mm -hmm. Γεια σας παιδιά, μετά το χειρουργείο. Φιλιά, καλή συνέχεια. Yes, uh, at that moment I didn't understand anything anymore. I was just uh, ready 100% to go under the knife and just let's get it over with and hoping for the best. And uh, 
without any further detail, this is the first moment uh, just after I came out from the operating room. So, uh, just half an hour ago, uh, the operation been done and everything went very well. That's what they say. Tomorrow they're going to take all this uh, thing out of me and I have two lovely friends here, Patrick and Ada. <laughs> Thank you so much that you guys, you were here for me, um, waiting for me. <laughs> I wasn't really sleeping, but they said I was. I feel fine, no pain at this moment, and it's done, so I'm a bionic man. I'll leave you alone for a while, just for a couple of days until I'm ready to go home and I'll be ready to make the video edit. The funny thing is that actually on the same day, uh, basically just hours, not even, uh, after the surgery, I got up on my feet and I walked back and forth in the room uh, with a little bit of help, but I really didn't feel too much pain in that moment because obviously I was loaded with painkillers, but that's not the point. The point is that it, it is uh, actually a serious invasive uh, surgery for the body. There is a foreign object inserted in your body. Uh, you have to get used to it. You have to understand what's going on. You have to help your body to adjust to it. But uh, the recovery started very, very fast. And uh, here is the proof. Two days after post-operation and I'm walking out from the hospital on my own feet. Wow! You really have to be careful. You really have to give time to it. You really have to rest. Uh, and of course, at the same time, you st start walking because this thing in uh, your hip has to adjust to that environment and your body to this uh, plastic thing uh, in your hip. So. Uh, here is what happened uh, after I was rushing the recovery. Today it hurts like a mother. Let's hope it's gonna pass fast. Bye. Yeah, it was actually uh, two days, man. Uh, certainly, just um, for a few hours, there was a very, very intense pain, uh, which is, didn't want to stop even with painkillers. But then it was gone. Uh, I rested. Uh, I moved on. There was nothing wrong. Of course, I called uh, my doctors. I asked their opinion what's happening. I had no fever. I had no special uh, symptoms of any kind of infection. So it was just me being uh, on patient and trying to recover too fast but you have to give it time it's my advice for you people um, in the future uh, and exactly that uh, it went well i have one more picture to show you uh, is it during i was changing the bandages nine days post-operation cut looks fantastic great job doctors thank you very much so this is my story so far um, after 10 days uh, after surgery uh, i feel a little bit strange because all my life i was dancing i was doing gymnastics i used to work out running up and down on the stairs uh, but years passing and uh, things happening so uh, it's okay and thank god there is this method there is this uh, option and solution for the problem and i'm hoping that uh, after the recovery period i'm going to do some uh, special exercise uh, for myself to make my muscles stronger so i will be able to uh, go on with my life without uh, any difficulties and especially any pain of course uh, dancing is over for me, not because this problem is because I decided not to overdo it and I would love to enjoy my new body. Total hip replacement surgery. If you need it, do it. I suggest no much pain and much more easier life after. You take care. Bye-bye.